I am recording. Um, John, are you? Almost on air with Erica and John. I am definitely recording now. Okay, okay, now. Oh, yes, because last week, uh, John wasn't recording for the entire first half, right? Was that last yeah, week? Yeah, I wasn't recording. Well, so here's the thing. Like, we record our sound separately, right? Yes, I record my sound, you record your sound, and then yep. we put it together. Just some behind-the-scenes info. Um, but then also we keep our Zoom recording because that's how we do our video. Yes. So luckily the Zoom acts as like a backup. So if one of us isn't recording or something happens to our recording, we can use the Zoom recording. The only problem yep. is it's it's a lower quality because you're recording through the internet with like microphones that aren't really built to carry the sound waves. Right. I don't know engineer stuff, but like yeah, essentially that was, that's You what's sounded going on. smart, but I'm not Thank certain you. that Thank that you. was correct. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not either. But no. um, apparently that's how it is. And I always wonder if people can notice, you know? Like I have I'm no to audio, idea. Really? Because when I'm listening to it, I feel like I pick it up so easily. Like I can tell who's recording on like what kind of. Um, yeah. Equipment. I think the biggest thing last week was that our intro was in the Zoom recording and I didn't take it out and reinsert it because I was like, yeah. I just don't have the energy for that. <laughs> I know so, that because the internet kind of skipped for a second yep, in the middle of the yep. intro and I was like, ah. <laughs> mm, classic. Well, um, another week. I'm actually in a new location this week. <laughs> You're in a new location. What do and, you yeah, I am. Like, I'm literally not in my bedroom in LA right now. Oh, I was like, are we in a new mental state? Like, are you oh going through something? God, like, no. Like, what's going on? Dude? No, I'm up at Lake Tahoe. My grandparents have a house up here. Um, doing a little safe family time. My siblings like will that. all be here. So, yeah, you know, after five months, it was like, well... I got to get we're, out. We're either going to um, all see each other or we're just going to have to wait for even Forever. more months. So like maybe a year or two years. Right. Who know? knows? So I am uh, up here. My question to you is, what? Um, have you ran into any listeners up there in Lake Tahoe? Um, can't say I have, John. Well, I only ask because I've just found out that our listeners are all over the globe. Oh, are they? We are international, by the way, if you didn't notice already. I'm going to be honest. I think I knew this. No, I for sure didn't know this until probably <laughs> this week. We have listeners in other countries aside from the United States of America, which is pretty cool because that means I can say I'm the co-host of an international podcast. Whoa. Whoa. To be fair, I think all podcasts are international. Probably. Are they though? Like if, if you you're not listening say, from another country, like is it available in like China? Sure. Um, maybe not China actually. Is it I available? Think it's available everywhere. Yeah, yeah, probably. I don't know. I just like always question what's available in China, you know? Okay. Okay. But, sure. Like, Let's say, is it available in other countries? Sure. But if no one's listening to it, I don't know if that means you can say you're international, you know? Okay. Then you we have are, to have a listener. It, it is almost on air with Eric and John, an internationally well-known, renowned podcast. Worldwide. What was that, <laughs> Mr. 305? Did you like that? I can't decide if I did or not. Um, I, it's one of the special effects that my board has that I've literally never used until right now. That was right. But, that was good. So here's the thing that I found out. Okay. So we, we, one of our posts, um, we had one of our listeners comment on it and oh, it yes. was, uh, Kimberly Ann Taylor. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Which first of all, Kimberly Ann, what's up, dude? Uh, she's, she's not I didn't dude, know you were from, but... yeah. I mean, everyone's a dude. Really. Right. Okay. Sure. Some, in some way, everyone's a dude. Sure. Uh, but Kimberly Ann is from Canada. So yes. that shocked me. Cause I was like, we have listeners from Canada. And then it got me thinking, I wonder if she's our only international listener. So I don't think she is. She's not. Yeah. Newsflash, she is not, which Where is insane to me. Where are the other ones from? So I went on the website that we use to host our podcast, and mm -hmm. then you can kind of look at the geographics there where you can find out where everyone's listening yep. from. So we have like, there's a top three countries, right? There's like, the US. it's like 97% United States. Yeah. There's like 2% Canada. And then there's like a 1.97% in third place in another country. My question to you, Erica, is mm -hmm. what country do you think that is? The problem is I think I've spoken to the person who listens to us in another country and I can't remember where it is. I guarantee you you're wrong. But I, <laughs> I want to say it's like Australia. Nope, not Australia. Where is it? <laughs> Ethiopia. What? Okay, well, <laughs> this is not the person I've spoken to then. That's what I thought. And this kind of doesn't make sense to me. And I, I'm really trying to understand because it literally says it ranks your countries by like the most amount of people that listen to you. And then there's like, there's one in Australia. There's one from like Europe or whatever. Okay. And then it, there's basically nothing else. Okay. But the third place one that was like 2% was Ethiopia. So I was like, okay, either A, 
we're getting hacked. <laughs> or, right. or B, we have an Ethiopian listener somewhere and I need to meet you, which I just like, don't think, I can't imagine that that's the case. Like, I feel like somehow mm. our podcast got bounced around through the internet waves and we like, I was going to say, and, like, it may be like someone using an IP address that would trace them back to somewhere else, which uh, mm. in what case, what sketchy things are you doing? Who's shady? Which Who one of you is, is shady? shady? One of you is shady. I know. Someone it. is. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. We could just have a, a loyal listener in Ethiopia. And if that's you the think case, we have shady listeners. I don't know. We have talked about the FBI before, so maybe it's the FBI. I'm going to I'm going to say I don't think we have shady listeners because I've you given out my address. I'm angry. <laughs> on this podcast. Oh my gosh, that's right. <laughs> and so far I've You're got no mysterious packages and no stalkers and I am breathing. So, thank you all for being no good, stalkers just good that genuine you know normal people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um <laughs> also, how's your week been? We haven't talked as much as normal. What's up? Um, so I've had, I've had a week. I've had a week. So right after we posted our, our episode last Friday, uh huh. Um, it just like stuff started hitting the fan. And it was just, it's last been Friday a while. Or the one before? Last Friday. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah last Friday. So right after episode, it, it, it's just been a week. So like my car has been broken down. I've been dealing with the dealer and stuff like that. So like just oh. like casual, like little ins and outs. But the, the peak of it all, okay? And, and buckle in because I just have a message for everyone. So buckle you don't in. end up in the same shoes as me. All right? Okay. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but back up your phone. Back up your phone uh. right now if you haven't already because I'm stupid. And I don't want you to be stupid, so back up your phone. We probably could have told you the, the second part of that, but yeah, continue. But, I mean, my phone told me I'm just that saying, you're millions not stupid. of times, you're just and I just, annoy, I just like ignored it. Right. So I, my, I woke up in the morning, and my phone was not uh, functioning properly. Like, I was okay. trying to open my messages, and my messages wouldn't open. And like, I have an old phone. Like, I really try and use my phone as long as I can before I get a new one. Um, it's like not super old, but it was the very first iPhone 10 right when it came out. So it's maybe three years old, I guess. Okay. Uh, whatever that is. So I just like decided to restart my phone because sometimes like my phone acts up and that works. So I go to restart my phone and then I go to turn my phone back on and it's stuck on the Apple logo and oh, it doesn't turn on and it just that's sits not there. Good. And I was like, okay, well this is annoying. And I tried turning it off and back on and off and back on and it would never go past the Apple logo. And I was like, uh Oh, like we got what, a problem. What does this mean? Yeah, this is a huge problem. Yeah. So I call Apple and I'm like looking on Google and I YouTube like different things that like they're asking me to try and I'm like trying to get a hold of Apple. The problem is now though is because of COVID, you can't just walk your phone in right. to get it serviced, right. right? Like the whole genius bar thing that you can go to, that's not a thing right now. So right. annoying. So I was like trying to be on chat. Like the best option you can do to do right away is you can chat with an Apple representative, right? You okay. can do it immediately. So I like, I chatted with this dude named Patrick. He was super sick. He was like, Shout I'm out so to sorry Patrick. to hear that. Shout out to Patrick. He was so sick. I was like, Patrick, thanks for helping me, man. I need to know, is there any way to save everything that's been on my phone? Yeah. And he's like, honestly, no, you're so screwed unless you've backed it up. When's the last time you backed it up? And I said about a year and a half ago. And he was like, I'm so sorry. Every new contact you had, every photo you <sighs> took. Every, and that's the thing I'm pissed gone. about most is like, I pretty much document everything. You know, I don't post on social media. So it's just funny because you don't post much. Exactly. But I love to have it personally for the personal memes because I kind of have a terrible memory and I love to look back at pictures yeah. every once in a while or videos from a concert or videos from a great night with my friends and be like, wow, that was such a good night. I remember that. And now I have almost two years of photos and videos that are gone, disappeared. Yeah. And I will never see them again and I'll never know what happened. And here I am, I'm just missing out. And I just like, my well, memories are probably gone. There's going to be nights in there and like fun times that I had and I'll never remember them ever again in my life. They're gone from uh, existence. Uh, this might be a bigger problem if you're not remembering anything that you're ever doing. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about you and I'd love to take you to get your brain checked. That's fair. Um, That's fair. That is fair. But on the bright side, the last five months, you haven't done much of anything because we haven't been able to. Now, so you that have is a fact. Except your trip with Sydney. That yeah, yeah, trip- that's true. Definitely. But I'm sure there were a lot of amazing photos. I'm not worried about the Sydney stuff because she also has those photos. You know what I mean? All of them? Um, close. Like okay. enough. You know what okay. I mean? Like all the decent photos of us, we pretty you much share, share together. Okay. Good. Well, those are good. I'm more worried about all of 2019. Like from the beginning to end of 2019, that year That's is erased gone. from my life. It's gone. It's, you know, like uh, New so Year's, here's the thing, 4th it's of July. It's actually not erased from your life. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but it is kind You're of. You're acting as if losing your phone is just taking your memories away. That's how I feel. That is and how I And what's so funny though is like, I have taken several videos at concerts. I've taken tons of photos. Okay. Okay. Can't say I go back and watch them again much. I know. I feel like most people say that, but I watch all of my old concert videos. I always do. It's like, it just sounds like screaming usually. I mean, it just depends on how close you are to the speaker, but like there's just, there are some artists that sound exactly like they sound on the radio or on Spotify yeah. or their recorded tracks. You would say right? on the record? On the record, sure. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't typically take many videos of those things, but for example, okay. if I'm going to a John Mayer concert, right? Sure. And I am hearing my favorite song, one of my favorite songs from John Mayer. Every time I've seen him, he'll play that song differently. Every single time. You know, okay. he'll riff different on his guitar. He'll have different vocals. He'll try new things. And I'm like this. And that's why I love seeing him so much because he makes every experience different when you go to see him. And I love artists like that. Yeah. But I love going back to those videos and just being like, God, that was so sick. You know? Yeah. I like, mean, I get your guy. point. I'm not saying you're crazy. I'm just saying know, you, these memories do exist in your life still. Perhaps. It will be okay. You will remember 2019. You just like might not have the photos of it. I just like, I want to reach out to all my friends here. And I just want to be like, hey guys, if you have photos of me, send them. You That's know? not a bad idea. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm thinking about it. Just do a, once you, do you have a phone yet? A working uh, so, phone? So I'm glad you asked because I, well, I looked in my drawers. Do you keep any of your old phones? No. Okay. Well, I sometimes do, right? I trade them in usually for money. You know, that's probably a good move. But by yeah. the time I got my iPhone, I could maybe get 50 bucks for this old phone that I have now. So okay. I found this old iPhone 6 in my drawer, right? Just like super old. It might be a 7. No, I'm pretty sure it's a 6. Huh. So I found this old iPhone 6 in my drawer. The last time I used it was like the beginning of 2017. Okay. Want to know what my wallpaper is from 2017? <laughs> Do you know which kitten? No. Poon chick, baby. Poon the chick. fact that I even guessed that it was a kitten and I was correct is insane. Me and Poochick go way hey, back. Also, hey, is that a notification telling you to back up your phone? Yeah, it sure is. And I got mm -hmm. those on my other phone all the time. And you want to yeah. know what I did? I ignored. Ignore. Everyone. Ignored. Goodbye. Yeah, I Don't tell me what to do. two kinds of people in the world. There are people <laughs> like you and people like me. That's, you know what? I could not agree with you more on that statement in almost every aspect and, of life. Yes. And I don't actually, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm looking out at the lake right now because that's my life. And there's a parasailer. It's very cool. Dude. But, uh, I don't. <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah. And I was like looking at people kayaking. It's kind of the best setup ever. Um, wow. I back up my phone as, I wouldn't say I do it every single day. And sometimes those right. notifications come up and I do skip over them. But I recently was like, forget it. And just bought a bunch more iCloud storage because I know that when the day comes mm. to change phones, I'm going to need that stuff. Yeah. You Contacts know, by time, especially. By the time you need it, it's too late. You know, like you have to do it as soon as you're thinking about it. Right, right. So I would say my phone gets updated or gets not updated. Backed up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. brain literally was just like does what now um i would say i back up my phone at least like over once a month so that's if i lost something perfect. it wouldn't be that big of a deal yeah which uh, i'm very envious and i'm just so dumb because i bought this external hard drive that i'm backing up my computer to oh and no my computer th th this is why i'm so pissed about too my computer just ran out of storage and so in order to clear up storage because i'm working on my computer and it wouldn't let yeah. me work on anything i turned off maybe a week before um icloud photo sharing where it automatically backs up and yeah. shares the photos on my phone with my computer. I turned that off because I was like, I don't need them on my computer. They're already on my phone. And then the next Ew. week, I just am dumb. You know, <laughs> like, I just like, I don't understand. It's like the universe oh. is like, loser and just like kicked yeah, you in the you face. Know, you got to learn. And, and this was didn't. my opportunity to learn. Did you hear my doorbell? No, <laughs> okay, I didn't. Good. All right. Well, roommate will get it. Uh, yeah, I did, so. Who comes to your door and rings the doorbell? I, that's what I'm wondering. I don't know who it is. Should you go check? I don't know. It's probably an Amazon package, actually. Oh, okay. Well, then, whatever. Um, yeah, dude. I don't know who wow. needs to hear this, but learn from me. Back up your phone. Uh, the next appointment I can go to take my phone in was two and a half weeks from then. So sometime next week, I can take my phone in, drop it off with them, and then they can see if, like they said, if the, the best they can do is wipe it and give me my phone like it's a brand new one, you know? Okay. Um, it keeps you from having to buy a new one. Exactly, which I would be super pumped about if okay. I could do that. Especially so. right now. If you can get it wiped, have a working phone, have all your stuff, and then, you know, when we're not in the middle of COVID and right. finances aren't such a problem, then you can get a new phone. 
But I have to say, two good things happened that day too. So one, what? that same day, I finally got my stimulus check. Wait, you just got your first <laughs> stimulus check? I just got my first stimulus oh. check, finally. I, it never came. John, you want to know why it probably never came? Because I didn't do my taxes. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's 1,000% why. 1, and then 000%. I finally did them, and I maybe got it three weeks after, yep. you know? So do your taxes too. Guys, I'm learning so many lessons in 2020. You, you know are I mean? growing up. That's for it's sure. beautiful. And then this was like the, the peak of it too, is it, right when I was going through all of this and I was like super upset. I was like, please, is there anything I can do with my phone? Yeah. Um, I get a ring at the doorbell, right? And I go outside and it's, I'm not sure if it's Postmates or it's just some kind of delivery service. Okay. And they have two big bags for me. There's like a bottle of Patron, some Kettle One, a couple of six packs of beer. What? Tanya randomly sent me a care package because lately she's been doing this whole love is kind thing. And she's oh just like, gosh. you know what? I just like decided to send this to you. Like you're always in a positive mood and I just felt like you needed it right now. And she had no idea what I was going through. And at that very moment when I was so pissed about my phone, I opened my door and she just randomly sent me all this alcohol. Like that's so no nice. That's also like, earlier last week, she had texted me and was like, Hey, do you have John's number? And I was like, yeah, yeah. Hold on. And like sent it to her and didn't think anything of it. Yeah. I was but, just like, oh, that's like, really no nice reason for that. And I was just like, dude, that was the coolest thing. You know what I mean? She's doing this whole love is kind thing to just like do random acts of kindness to people. Yeah. And like at that moment, I was like, I, I see it. You know, you don't know what someone's like going through at the time. You right. know, like granted, I could be going through worse things. But like at that moment, like that was just such a day turnaround for me. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm figuring out a way that I can pass that forward to someone else because I know that's like the whole goal of it. I know that's what she'd want. So sure. I got to figure out a way, dude. Sure. That's really sweet. I've not sweet. really had a phone to thank her, so. Uh, oh, that's true. Have you, like, messaged her on Slack yeah. or anything? On, a, on my iMessage, because I still have my computer. So okay. I, I messaged her that morning, and it was, I just thanked her so much, because I was just like, you have no idea. Like, this was amazing, but. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. That's really sweet. So wow, okay, so some, some not great things, some great things. Yeah, dude, we are just all over the board this week. So thank yeah. you for coming to my TED Talk, my therapy session, if you will. Um, and <laughs> of hopefully- course. I can save you from some future, uh, some future negativity. Dude. I hope some other people learn their lesson yeah, and back up real. their phones. Wow. wow. But let's go into something like a little bit, a little bit more fun, a little bit deeper, dude. Um, I'm still working on an intro for uh, oh, Paul's okay. Deep, Question of the Day with Erica Shea. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm playing around with a few different options right now, and I'm just trying uh, I to don't find like one that the way, fits perfectly. I wish everyone could have just seen the way that John said he was, yeah, he was basically manhandling some balls in yes i i, didn't I was want to weighing shout my that. options it's a scale you know what I mean? it's, a it's a scale, scale. and it's also uh, 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 never mind i'm not gonna finish be, the sentence that i was about you know to what? say but if the shoe fits it involved um the words massage and something else <laughs> um yes okay question of the day just imagine you're in aladdin oh. you rub the lamp dude you get three wishes Obviously, rules are you can't you can't uh, wish for more wishes. Oh, damn, you got me. But of course, but what would your three wishes be? Three wishes. You get three. Yeah, that's how it works. Wow. Okay, this is kind of gnarly. Okay. So, I think I would first wish for. Um. Wow. How deep can these wishes go? Like, is like the classic stupid world peace answer an appropriate answer? I mean, world peace seems aggressive, but you That's can... what I mean. I feel like I don't know how to achieve that with a wish. You know what I mean? Right, I feel like that's right. unrealistic. So some relatively realistic wishes, even though sure. wishes aren't realistic. But yeah, all right. So wish number one, dude. Okay. Um, I would like all of my friends and family to be financially taken care of. Okay. So they could live and survive. You know yes. what I mean? And just like not have to worry about that kind of stuff. And then second... I would wish that I was financially secure because here's the thing. Like, I feel like in my life, I would really like to just do what I want and not have to worry about money. You know, it's like the whole chase in the dream and do what you want to do thing. Granted, we are in radio because I believe we think that, you know what I mean? We're not really in it for the money. Yeah, we're definitely cool, not in it for the money. <laughs> right. But how cool would it be if you never had to worry about money? You could just chase right. this radio thing as far as it takes. You know what but I mean? But you mean like within means. Like with, within means. Live I'm not trying to, kind of how you do now, but just with none of the money stress. I, okay. This is when people want, ask me how rich I want to be. This is yeah. my answer. Okay. Okay. I want to be able to go out to eat every yes. night of the week and not have to worry about it. Okay. That's it. 
That's it. That seems unhealthy. That's what I want to be. You, but no, but that's yeah, fine. I can eat healthy. You know what You're I mean? You're just saying I'm that's just like this. That's like the ideal is like you would never have to worry about it. Yeah, because like okay. there are so many times I want to go eat, and I'm just like, bro, like you've gone now like three times this week. You got food at home. You know yeah, what I mean, like oh, turn the car around. Having the you have this. food at home talk with yourself is oh, the worst. I'm so bad at it. I literally it's did it last night. I was like, bro, you have pasta right here. You have some chicken in the fridge that you made for this reason, so you would not have to go out and get food. <laughs> you have. Look, Food look at yourself at right home. now but you know what I, I like the idea of you being in a mirror literally having this like lecture with yourself sometimes i do sometimes i gotta go to the bathroom i gotta look myself in the eyes and i gotta say look here dude you planned for this okay you, you meal prepped on sunday <laughs> let's talk about this okay you got rice oh. you even pick some chicken that you haven't had before so you could be like oh i'm not eating the same thing every time right, right. you know what guess who didn't follow the rules me right I left and I got this local Chinese food place called Twin Dragon. Oh, last night. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Okay, well, tonight it. you have food at home. I do have food at home. I better okay. eat. Okay. Uh, what's your third wish? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, you didn't even, didn't even I get didn't, Yeah, I didn't even, didn't even think of a third wish. Um, that's kind of a hard one. I feel like I would wish, dude, here it is, dude. to never have to sleep what boom like boom. you would wish that you would never feel the need to sleep yes i could regenerate energy like a solar panel but like not with the sun like just you know like just consistently you know those watches where you they charge when you shake them you know no i don't I have a watch like that some watches like you never need a battery because you're you shake and it moves it you know what i mean okay <clears throat> boom i would be mega productive i'd just be working all day all night doing things forever I think you'd get bored of being awake. Yeah, but I can sleep if I want to. There's the oh, thing. like you know if you I mean? were like, you know what? I've done so much today. Why don't I just lay down? Yeah, like maybe, you know, maybe mm -hmm. I just want to sleep. Or maybe like I, I'm with a partner that like wants to sleep. You know what I mean? I got to tell you. I don't want to be like Edward Cullen staying awake while like homegirl mm -hmm. sleeping next wow, to me in bed. You know, I love you for a Twilight reference. That's great. Thank you. That's great. You're welcome. That was for you. uh, I think I would get bored if I never had to sleep because sometimes if I'm trying to pass the days because I have something exciting coming up I sleep a lot to pass the days which Ooh. someone told me sounds a lot like depression and I'm like no it's because because <laughs> I'm like I just want to get through the next week I just got to get through was the it, next week so I just sleep a lot therapist? no no it wasn't thank goodness but no and I was like no it's not that I'm sad that I'm sleeping so much it's that I'm just trying to pass the time <laughs> Anyway, uh, everything's fine, but that's interesting. Of course you wouldn't want to sleep. Yeah, it's I just so... like, there's so much to do, you know? Uh, is there? Last night. Is there, there is. though? There is. There are so many shows to watch. There are so many things in the world to experience. There's so many people to talk to. Dude, I'd be amazed if I didn't have to sleep. What are your if wishes? If I was what not you, sleeping. Give me wishes. Hold on. If I was not sleeping, the last thing I'd want to be doing is just filling that time with watching shows. I mean. Unless the they were reason... educational. The only reason I went to sleep last night at a decent hour instead of watching all 11 episodes of the show I'm watching is because I had to wake up in the morning, you know? Yeah. That's lame. I wanted to finish the whole show last night. What's up with that? Wow. You know? Well, um, sure. My three wishes. So I'm having a hard time because I, I did not think about this before I brought this question to the table. <laughs> um, I literally was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do this one. Oh, My okay. problem is that Very I deep. really want to give a wish – towards like getting over covid like Ooh. being done with it but very I, that's a very world peace like i don't know what the solution is dude you come up with the vaccine and you get all the monies for it mm, that just doesn't really sound like it's in my wheelhouse yeah it um like i guess my wish is that all my friends and family and coworkers and myself remain healthy fair I'll go with that. Like okay. everyone I love and care about stays healthy. Only because it's realistic. I feel bad being like, but other people can get it. But like, that's not how I feel. I'm just saying if I only had three wishes, I mean, be you're stuck. you can't do the whole world peace thing. You know, you right. can't, can't wish that everyone peace. in the world's healthy. Like, I'm sorry. No. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. Since you gave me that rule, then correct. Yeah. The people I love and care about, I hope that they stay healthy. Um, Does that include me? Unfortunately, yeah, I said correct. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just making sure, dude. Unfortunately. <laughs> and it kind of expands because like, well, whatever, whatever. I won't even get into that. That's like a whole thing. Um, yes, that includes you. Um, Sweet. Proceed. I'm really struggling with. Wishes two and three. 
Wishes two and three. I wish that I could spend mm, every year. I would have like several weeks out of the year to spend with my family Mm. because I think that Mm. it's rare for me and my three siblings and all of their significant others don't have one. Um, And it's rare that the four of us plus significant others all can get together at the same time. At the same time. On top of that, our parents are divorced. So we're splitting time between the two mm. households. And so it's so rare that we get to spend like a solid amount of time with each totally. other. Um, so I wish that there was like two weeks out of every year where things just like you could all work from home and we all could go somewhere together and like, I'm that. telling you, I've been saying this. We need like one month a year where everyone works from home. It's it, glorious. It would probably solve like global warming too. <laughs> um, and then wish three, wish three I'm going to, I'm, I'm trying to pick something a little more selfish. Dude, I got um, it. I got it. I'd love to change my wish and I'm going to give it to you. Tell me if you like it. All right. Have you ever okay. seen the movie Jumper? No. Dude, it's like where the guy can teleport anywhere in the world at any time. Oh, you know what's funny is Imagine. I was going to wish for teleportation. Shut up. And then I was like, but that's not realistic. That's so, that's way more realistic. Okay. Well, no, it's not. Yeah, I it would is. wish for teleportation because traveling is hard, especially right now. And there are people that I care about in other places. Yeah. How cool would it be to that. like, I don't know, want to go across the world and not have to take a plane for 16 hours. You know what I mean? Pow. I'm in New Zealand right now. Right. Or across the country and not have Dude. to connect flights and stuff. Yeah. That's what great. I mean. That's it's what I mean. So Teleportation. Great. Teleportation is my other wish. But like, am I, I wishing it. that only I get it or that other people get it? I think only like me and Dude. the people I choose. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Imagine everyone gets to teleport. You can talk to weird. anyone. Yeah, yeah. No, things would be tricky. Yeah. Wow. Imagine you're having a conversation and then someone just literally zaps out of thin air and they're like, oh, sorry, man. I just like, kind of got bored of it and I decided to go to California or wherever. It's <laughs> just like 20 people in my room right now and then they all disappear. I don't like oh, this. Yeah. yeah. Could they just like show up in your space anytime they wanted? I hate that. I'm Maybe sorry. you have to tell. I just licked this microphone. Again, it's been a long time since that's happened. Yeah. I don't even know if you've done that at home. No, never. Oh. Um, Maybe to make you know i'm just trying to regulate teleportation over here so we don't get things out of control maybe there's still like teleportation like uh bus stops so like similar to airports where you have to to get to a new city you have to teleport into one of those places you can't just show up in my bedroom what if i'm naked no i like that yeah yeah. and then you can't just like show up on the top of the eiffel tower you know what i mean that would be no good we need to have some respect here you know what i mean respect national monuments people's places yeah there needs to be like a transportation police. That's literally, I'm literally describing the plot of Jumper. You need to watch this movie. It's so good. Okay. Who's in it? Um, honestly, I forgot. <laughs> I just thought it's good. You know what? Come to think of it. Maybe, how, is it old? Yeah, it's pretty old. We might have watched 2000s, it. Early 2000s, I think. Yeah, we might have watched it my senior year, like English class, because yeah. instead of English senior year, we got to take ethics. And it was like English stuff. You like you read books and you like like wrote totally. papers and stuff. But it was all based on like ethical things. Dude, I love which that. Jumper would probably fall into. For sure, this dude just teleports into uh, uh, vaults. You know what I mean? And steals money and then teleports oh, out. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, no, no, easy. no. So easy peasy. You could be rich. That's certainly not how we're gonna be down with teleportation in this dream world where I rub a lamp and a genie comes out. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's already not realistic. So I feel like I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> No oh, god um let's get into some right. other things that we let's want to talk about it. this week dude let's we've been oh, all god. over the place we have a very serious thing to cover and i am <laughs> infuriated and i, I don't too know am why infuriated. i'm angry are okay. we talking about the same thing oh we're talking about the same thing if you guys remember a while back did that episode ever air I remember oh, we had some sure. concerns about the death of Mr. Peanut. We, yeah, it, it aired and we posted about it on our page too. Okay. I posted the commercial. So Mr. Peanut of, you know, Peanuts. I'm yeah, not Peanuts, quite sure Mr. What he's, Peanut. Right. Peanuts, Mr. Peanut. He's, he's an A-list celebrity. I feel like people he know who he is. He done died. Mm-hmm. He's a B-list celebrity. Let's be honest. Okay. 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 Best, probably. So they killed him. Right for a Super Bowl commercial, they just they just killed him. <laughs> Which I don't is understand. Pretty messed up. Pretty messed pretty up. Pretty messed up. And then in the follow up commercial, he weirdly was reborn. Into or it's a his son. Unclear. Hashtag baby nut. Which yeah. um, can we talk about baby nut for a second? Because mm-hmm. that feels like something else. Um, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I was 
what did I send you like an Instagram thing or a Twitter thing? And I was like, John, and this baby nut is now 21 years old. Yeah. Okay. I, I just have so many issues with this. Yeah. Okay. We need to and let's dissect for a second. Yeah. All right. So first of all, messed up that you killed Mr. Peanut. Okay. Mm-hmm. You killed him during the Super Bowl. Kind of messed up. He died with Wesley, Wesley he Snipes or whoever. Cliff. Yeah, they drove off a cliff or something. And he like Not sacrificed good. himself to save right. people. Right. Who cares? The dude's dead. Baby nuts born. Okay. You know what? Yikes, but I'll buy into it. And then sure. all of a sudden, you want to tell us that baby nut is turning 21 years old? 21. All right. So let's do the math. Let's do the math. Let's see if this makes sense, peanut. You brands. are angry. Okay? No, yeah, this doesn't do make sense and I don't like pad? it. I sure did. I did the math. Oh. All right. So here's the math, okay? Baby Nut was born on the Super Bowl, which is February 2nd of 2020. Okay. Correct? Today is August 12th. Okay. So let's just round for a minute for the sake of math because sure. I don't want to do the exact days. So it's about six months, okay? Almost to the dot, but not quite. But he's six months oh old, God. okay? Okay, yeah. So you're telling me it's six months he's turning 21 years old. Okay, maybe he's maybe peanuts have different years, like dog True. years. You know what I mean? Peanuts so, certainly don't live as long as humans. That's right. So let's say that you know he's 21 in six months, which would mean one one actual year is 42 <laughs> peanut years. All oh, right? so that means he's gonna be old. In another six months, baby nut's gonna be 42, and he's not gonna be not so baby anymore. All right. Yeah. So here's where it gets a little weird. Okay, Mr. Peanut was born in 1916. Oh, okay. He was created in 1916. So, and, and hear me out here. When he was created, he was already old, right? He was like, an adult, he was, yeah. He was never a baby nut, right, right? Right, So, when you do the math, that's 104 years, okay? okay. So, 1916 was 104 years ago. So, 104 years and nut years, according to, you know, these calculations, <laughs> means that he would be 4,368 years old. That's how old Mr. Peanut was. When he died. When he died. So then if you do a quick Google and you Google how long do peanuts last, you'll find out that in-shell peanuts last about four months in the pantry and one year in the fridge. So this guy must have rubbed a genie and gotten wishes to live a long time. Where's the science? Where's the science here? <laughs> You're so angry. This Does doesn't that make mean any, this doesn't that make we're going to have to watch baby nut die soon? That's what I mean. So that's kind of why I'm pissed off because now I feel like it's starting to be like a publicity stunt and you're just using baby peanut just to do whatever you want. Starting to be a publicity stunt? You know, yeah, has been one. All right. Yeah. So they released a statement to explain this whole controversy. Oh, did they? Right? Okay. So they said, time moves fast in nut years. Baby nut hit a magic growth spurt and now mm, he's 21 years old. Sure, Jan. A magic growth spurt? That's how you're going to explain all this? <laughs> What do you mean? What, what do you mean? How do you get this magic growth spurt? You know, I wish I had a magic growth spurt. I was like 5'1 until senior year of high school. What's <laughs> up with that, dude? What's up with that? And here's a baby nut just claiming that he's 21. You know what? There's like a movie about this. What's that movie uh, with uh, Adam Sandler? Um, Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Sure. Where he just like goes back to school and he's just like graduating things. I feel like that's what baby nut's trying to do. He's just trying to make up his age. You know what? There's a whole business for fake IDs out there. You know what I mean? Trying to be yeah. 21. And you can just claim you're 21 and start buying beer. No. You have to wait your turn like we all did. And if you're going to find this magic growth spurt, we need it. Oh, God. I'm heated. I you're waited, so I waited upset. Until I was 21. You know what? I never had a fake ID. I didn't. Neither did know? I. You know what? Good for you. I, I was just like, you know what? I want it to be worth it. You know? Like, I don't want to go out and like. Mine was just eighteen. That I just was always scared. I wasn't. Uh, I morally was just scared. Um, <laughs> scared by the way, caught. yeah, the tweet that they announced Baby Nut turning twenty-one says, "I'm officially twenty-one, my friends." Before you ask, yes, I was just a baby. What can I say? It's been a nutty year. Now, someone get this peanut a beer. I don't like that. I don't like it either. I just, I just don't like it. And you know what? The cool thing was a lot of Twitter didn't like it either. Oh, yeah. No, Twitter's started, mad. Yeah. They started blocking him. They started blocking Baby Nut. Blocking? What was he doing? Harassing them? Um, they just think that he's doing this for attention. So, like, if you're going to do this for attention, we're going to block you. Some restaurants were like, we don't even serve nuts, so we're blocking them. And they posted pictures blocking Baby Nut. That's hilarious. It's pretty fantastic. I think that we can, we can safely say, though, that this entire thing, killing Mr. Peanut and, and having a new Baby Nut, um... It's all a publicity stunt. Dude. But I don't understand what their motive is. I mean. Why? 
I, and you know what? I would like to think that Baby Nut's a victim, but he's not. He's just another <clears throat> rich kid trying to make his own rules because he's got money and he's got a big corporate dad. No. Because his allowed. dad was 4,000 years old. Yeah, I'm sorry. You cannot live up to your dad's legacy. Baby he never Nut. met his dad. Wow, that's actually kind of sad. That is sad. <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably a damaged child, actually. Yeah, maybe that's why he's, you know, hitting a magical yeah. growth spurt and turning 21. You know when you, like, judge the rich kids too much and then it's like, oh, they have a troubled life and at then, home, too? Yeah, you find out that probably. things aren't all hunky-dory. Yeah, it's probably baby nut. Probably. But you know what? I'm sorry about it. You got to learn the hard way. You, <laughs> you know do. what I mean? Some people on Twitter were like, happy birthday, baby nut. <laughs> I hope this is your last. You're an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I love you. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I don't wish ill upon anyone, but I don't know if baby nut falls under anyone. So. That's probably true. That's yeah. probably true. Um, yeah. But, yeah, where are we going with this? You know what I mean? Like, where does this end? You know? Yeah, he's got to turn 50 soon. Yeah. like At this point. Like, what's five. another milestone birthday? If you skip 16, he could have a sweet 16. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. How about his first birthday? What? John's so angry. Also, my <laughs> thing, why 21? Do peanuts and beer go well together? Is that what, like, the joke is? Is that, like, the I mean, point? I mean, uh, uh, I guess, kind of. You I guess know, they, the like, serve that, like, them at, like, baseball games and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I've never I, understood I don't know if they're, the... like, paired together, but, like, right. they can go together, you know? Do you know why people shell or unshell peanuts at baseball games and just leave them on the ground? Um, probably because it's just too unrealistic to expect people to like put them. But in, no, in I mean, <laughs> also like just serve peanuts with an extra baggie so you can put all your shells in there, but like whatever. No, but Perhaps. why do people even eat peanuts at baseball games? What's the thing? I mean, that's a good what question. Gives? I mean, I feel like it's something about cracking the shell is like time can cons- like, I don't know, fun. You know, it's the same thing with sunflower seeds. I enjoy some sunflower okay. seeds. I do love I really sunflower do. seeds. Mm. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, yeah. I don't understand where peanuts came from. Um, I-, I don't get it. I really don't hmm. get it. I, under- I-, I understand. It's fun. It's cool. You know, I'm a big fan of salty things. You know, I'm kind of salty right now about this Mr. Peanut yeah, situation. You're very salty right now. Yeah, you just can't decide you're turning 21. I'm you sorry. Can't. You can't. You're right. Look. I was in favor of this thing a couple months ago. I you was were. Like, you you know were what? down. You were down yeah. for the cause, which I think I, I was it. more annoyed about the death of Mr. Peanut than you were. But he had a long life, you know, like you can't live for a very long life. And then here we are, dude. So here we are. You heard in, it here first, dude. We're not. Yeah, cool we're not down. Also, in other very strange news, there's some like really significant cat news we need to talk about. And it's not a kitten of the week situation at all. That's true. And it's there's a cat who plays a tiny piano when he wants to be fed. And I literally was reading headlines this morning and I sent it to John and I didn't even read the article. I just said, we have to talk about this. I love how anytime a cat comes up, you immediately just sent it to me. Yeah, I think I just- Every time. And sometimes with no comment, but- I love it. I just like the idea of like a cat roaming around the house and then suddenly you hear like Beethoven playing and you're like, shoot, the cat wants to be fed. Dude, I actually had a cat like this. That's why I was glad you Mm -hmm. sent me this story. Yeah, so- in high school, uh, we had this cat that we found. We were like driving by an intersection and uh, okay. a little light post, like the little cap was off where the wires are. And there was this little meow coming from inside the light post. Oh, we like, oh my God. So we stopped and there's a little baby kitten who was like just born. He was like tangled up in these electric wires and this like street light. Okay. Like, oh no. So we kept him and I didn't know what to name him. So I named him Kitty. And that was like literally my favorite cat. I've ever How had. old were you? Mm, 16. <laughs> so pretty old. I'm sorry. Um, I literally almost just spit out my coffee. <laughs> you at 16 years old decided to name a cat Kitty. Yeah, 100. percent So I was like, "What's up, Kitty? Live your so, life." So I I played piano growing up, right? We had a yeah. piano. I loved playing it. Uh, so in high school, I would always play the piano when I got home from school. Sometimes I'd play before bed, and the cat was my cat, so it would always come hang out with me and it'd sit on the piano bench. Okay. Eventually, it saw that I was playing the piano, and it would put his little paws up there, and it would play piano too. So cute. And like then when gibberish I for piano, college, right? Like nothing like that like yeah. made sense. Okay. I mean, this dude was not playing chopsticks. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. But when I left for college and I moved away, at the same time, when I would usually play before bed, the cat would go and play piano without me. And my mom would send me videos of like the little cat playing piano like I used to. That is depressing. It's so cute though. So the cat wasn't asking to be fed by no, playing no. the piano. Your cat just learned how to play the piano and he missed you. Mm-hmm. That's right, dude. Well, R.I.P. R- 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 Kitty. I'm very sorry that he's no longer with us, I assume. Uh, no, no, no. She's not. We don't know what happened. She, she got eaten. I think it was a she. I called her a she. She was just gone? Oh, uh, yeah. We think she got eaten by a coyote. Oh, this ended much worse than I thought. I know. It okay, well, shout out to Kitty, the shout piano out to Kitty. playing cat. 
Um, there's some other. I don't in, even want to talk about this other strange cat news, but I know we have to. If but you're I'm annoyed. Talk about a kitty who's just playing piano to get fed, then we have to talk about this cat news because it is way more significant. I get it, but okay. Will you? So will you share? It's a little dated, you know. It happened last Friday. Um, yeah. But Old Dominion, the, the country band, who is um, arguably, I have always said, one of my favorite bands, and now so I'm good. mad. So good. And I don't know why you're mad because this just makes me love them more than I did before. Mm -mm. So before last Friday, about a week before, they started posting cat pictures. Uh, They started posting cat pictures on their Instagram. Oh, I don't think I even figured that out. Yeah. So no one really knew why. All the comments were like, well, why are you guys doing this? Like, this doesn't make any sense. So then when all the music dropped last Friday, Uh they they dropped their entire album, but all of the original lyrics were replaced with meows it, it was a partnership furious oh a partnership with what with a meow mix okay i didn't know that but it wasn't because of that partnership that they decided to do this so first of all i just want to play some examples i know we can't play too much music in a podcast without getting in trouble but i'm yeah, sure like i can play four good, seconds yeah i can play like a good five second clip sure. so this is their song make it sweet originally because i'm stuck on you you're stuck on me i never got so good. I love that song so freaking much. Um, but when you go to the meow version. This brings me so much anger. And they did that for an entire album. They're Not literally. A word except meow. They're so incredible. There's, they're these like just really, really, really smart songwriters. They have like this incredible music. And then they just decide to just release a meow album. Oh, I'm sorry. They decided to have some fun. I'm sorry, I didn't know that was illegal in the music business, dude. It's not cool. So let me tell you how this came about because yeah, they were- Yeah, I need to know more. I didn't a, look into it. Yeah, they were on a radio show on Sirius XM. It was like The okay. Highway. Uh, and they Story were Warren. in an interview about it. And they're like, well, there's a couple of things. So you're on the road and sometimes you guys have some inside jokes as a band. And sure. the meowing just sort of happened over time. We'd be having a conversation and someone would make a good point and someone else would go, oh, meow, 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 right? Okay. Which, I've honestly done my whole life. Like when people make good points and I'm like annoyed by it, I'm like, meow, meow, meow. You know what I mean? You kind of like okay, yeah. mock them with the meows. So they're like, oh, that's how it started. You know, we'd start slipping a few meows in there out of boredom. And then eventually that led into sound check. So the label's always asking you to release different versions of your songs. You, we need an acoustic version or a live version or whatever. Okay. So as a joke, they thought, wow, let's just do a whole song about meows and we'll turn it into them. So then <laughs> when they're in the studio, They record one and they're like, well, we're already in the studio. We might as well go to the next song, right? And that just led to an entire album of meows. It was just an inside joke in the band. I get it's fun and it's sure. It's It's more than Do whatever you want. It's everything I've ever wanted. (laughs) It's just as one of my favorite bands who I think very highly of, I I believe that they are so talented. And then they did this and I'm like, you could have just given us a whole new album even though they just released this other album. Yeah, but like how no one else has done anything like this before. Sure, but you know what's so annoying? Tell me. This meow version is making its way into like my curated Spotify playlist and I'm so mad. So I'm like, okay, fine, release it, but there should be some sort of like bar on it where I am not like running and then all of a sudden the meow version comes on and I'm pissed. (laughs) No, come on. That's got to be the best thing to ever happen. You're on a run. You're in the zone. You're listening to some good music and then a whole song of meows comes on next. Come on. Come on. You know, you know how like people are like, oh, like that album, like people are like, oh, uh, Taylor Swift's Folklore is a no skip album. Like you wouldn't skip a song. I'm sorry, Old Dominion, but this entire album is a skip. I'm never going to sit down and turn that on and be like, oh, I love this right now. Oh, the night it came out, I listened to the entire album, first track. To Why? The album, all the way through. Why? Didn't skip a single song. Because it's hilarious. I love it. It's amazing. Doesn't it get old after like one chorus? No. I love it because I know almost every single song on that album, that the original version. So when I hear the meows, it's even funnier. Because I know like the most important line of the song. And then now that line's just meow, meow, meow. <laughs> like dude i just like love any opportunity where you don't have to take life too seriously and old dominion locked that in for me i'm not taking life too seriously neither does old dominion they have a song called snapback it's so dumb but i love it they have a song called break up with him it's so dumb but i love it you know <sighs> that's how i feel 
I love them so much and I'm like kind of, I wouldn't want them to ever hear this because I still love them and I will always support them except for this album. And I swear to God, if they go on tour and they try to tour these songs, (laughs) I will walk out. I would love to go because I guarantee they probably won't do that. But I guarantee in a sound check, for sure, they've done this already. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's true. Maybe they'll like jokingly like switch one chorus or like one couple lines like Mm -hmm. on tour. But ugh. I have to imagine that the majority of people were probably not as amused by this as I am. You know what I mean? I you know, think I can, it's almost I like they only made it for you. I, that's what I thought too. I'm not sure anyone else is happy about it. I probably had like five people send it to me <laughs> when it first came out. You were I, the first one though, actually. Good. I'm on it. it I love the for them that they had fun. And I know we're in the pandemic and it's probably not conducive for like actually creating new music and like people are uninspired and whatever. But Lord... I don't love it. Even if they just did it for me, that's enough. That is enough. If it made one person happy, I digress. There it is. It's probably made about cat news. <laughs> that is today's cat news. Um, John, I have a question for you. I have literally all the answers you could ever wish for. That's not true, but sure. That's not true. That's definitely Do true. you think you could work with an ex side by side every day for a couple months? Um, well, that's an interesting question because up until this pandemic, I still worked for my ex's family. But with But not with her ex. over there. Yeah, she, right. does, she doesn't work there herself. Okay. Um, so here's what I think. I think it's possible, but it would take a lot of getting used to. For the first couple months, it's like, it's going to be weird. You know, like, okay. I don't know. Like, you'd, it, it would definitely be odd, but I think over time, it anything would become, normal. become normalized, you know? And once you see someone in a work environment for so long, eventually you would have more time in that work environment than you would them being your ex. And then it would translate more to a coworker situation in my Sure. Okay. Uh, I ask because Joey King from, uh, we've had her on the Seacrest show, but most recently from like the kissing booth and the kissing booth two on Netflix. Can't say I've watched the second one. Is she the one that just turned 21? Yes. Yes. She has oh, so cool. Okay. I know who this is. Her. So she and her ex met filming the kissing booth. Okay. And then, then they, they dated for a while and then they broke up and then Netflix was like, we want to do the kissing booth too. <gasps> and so they had to work together. And she was saying in an interview about how like, she knows that people are watching it, watching them thinking about how it's weird that they oh, were totally. broken up. I like in a normal work situation, I guess suck it up. It, you know, like you'll deal. Um, but working with an ex and having to play love interests, I don't so wait, know how you do it. They kiss in the show and they're like into each other in the show? Movie, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> they kiss. Yikes. They kiss. You're like, Dude, they kiss, kiss in the show. Like with their lips? Probably Dude. tongues too. Whoa. I mean, shoot, probably not in the second one. It was probably very acting kissing, but. I see. I wonder how it ended. You know what I mean? Because like. True. If, I don't know the details. If it ended that. terribly because one person was into someone else or something, mm, I, would, yeah. I would be pissed. Like, I wouldn't want to kiss someone that like did me wrong like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? that would be like, tough. That would, suck. That would definitely I be just, tough. I think that I am a relatively emotionally mature human being, mm-hmm. but <laughs> I would have a hard time, even just like a normal work setting. If it ended really badly, it would be tough. It would be tough. It like imagine tough. if your ex-girlfriend had my job and in a non-pandemic world, you sat next to her every day. Dude, that would be rough. And had to pitch topics, like had to talk about our dating lives and our nor- like everything about Dude. our lives in meetings. It'd be so hard. That'd be so hard. It would, it, it would be probably one of the hardest things yeah. for a couple of months. But eventually, like you just got to suck it up and get used to it. You know what I mean? Right. But I just can't imagine. Like I'm pretty – in our pitch meetings for the morning show, I'm pretty like usually – like, here's what's going on, on in my life. Here's, you know, oh, I went on a date with this guy. I did this. And I just, if my ex was in the room, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if it was this last ex, I would be like, and I went on a date. <laughs> he was a great kisser. <laughs> yeah, and everything was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there goes me saying I'm emotionally mature and then doing that. So yeah, never yeah, for real. <laughs> but, oh, it would just be awful. I don't, I don't. I wonder if there are a lot of people who have had like workplace romances and have had to then work together still. Oh my God. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I know of people from work than we think. Um, I mean, you met your girlfriend at work. 
That's what I mean. Yeah, you, that's you true. Just, and you technically still kind of work together just in different offices. Right. Yeah. So, we work for the same company, but we've yeah. never actually worked together. Sorry, I was reaching for my coffee and my eyeballs got really close to the screen. <laughs> okay. um, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've never had to like physically work together now. Right. Which I, I, I think together. helps because I, I don't know. Like I know a lot of people, um, like even the other company that I worked for before the pandemic, like they uh, were married and they own the company together. And I don't know yeah. if I would want that kind of environment, you know, like I would love to keep my love life separate from my work life to some degree. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know if I'd like to work with my partner either, you know, forget an ex, like even just someone I was dating. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, know yeah. if I'd love working with them. You know what I mean? I kind of want to have my own space. I want my work and my career to be my own doing and not really have an influence from my love huh. life. You know what I mean? I have honestly no idea how I feel about this. I have never had a significant other who's been in the same industry as us. So I've never really thought mm. about it before. Um, but like there are like husband and wife morning shows. Yeah. And what if your entire life then is like you wake up and you go to work with your significant other and you do a show with them and you probably mm -hmm. talk about your ish at home on the show totally. and then you go to meetings and if you're on the same show, you're probably going to meetings with them and then you're going home and you're like cooking dinner and it's all with them. And I wonder Weird. like, I wonder how much of that becomes are we doing this to talk about something on the show or are we right. doing this because this is truly what we're feeling? You know what I mean? You must have like really good boundaries. You'd have to have great boundaries yeah. or you have no boundaries at all and you're literally living everything in public. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I just, I would um, It'd be probably tough. get tired of them. It'd be tough. Yeah. Yikes. Wow. Well, if you work with your, Either your ex or your significant other. I want you to message us on Instagram because I just have a lot of questions. I appreciate the dating in the same industry thing. And I even love the same company thing because mm -hmm. we can talk about work and you're not boring me with talking about work because it. I know I get it. I know everything you're talking about. It, it yeah. helps, I think. I yeah. think it encourages conversation and we can talk about our days without feeling like we're boring each other. Um, but and it's I nice that it's not the same exact And I think you give each other space. advice on work because you understand it. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have a listener question here. Uh, do you want to get to it or do you want to save it for next week? Shoo, I forgot that we had one. I feel like we should save it for next week because we so still have a game. All right. Let's finish okay. with a game okay. and then we'll get out of here. Okay. A little bit of a longer one today. So Yeah, sorry. Today we're going to go back to our roots a little bit. We're going to do an edition of Real or Fake News. I'm so excited. I love this game. So we haven't done this game in a while. If you need me to remind you how it goes, this is it. So I'm going to read you some headlines of a news story, and you're going to tell me, is that a real headline from a real news source, okay. or is that fake news, something that I just made up on the spot? I only have to give you real or fake. You only have to give me real Great. or fake, and if it's real, I'll give you a few more details so you can have okay. some, uh, some background on the story here. Okay. Sound good? Yep, sounds good. Let's go. All right, let's start with our very first headline here. Where we go? There we go. All right. A woman who gouged her eyes out while high on meth receives a prosthetic eyeball this week. You know what? That's real news. I read that headline. Shut up. God yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got one on the board. That was a real story. Uh, Kaylee. Uh, Kaylee, I think her last name is Mudart. Uh, she's a 22-year-old woman who, you know, used to be addicted to meth. You 22. know, she had, she had some struggles and she gouged her own eyes out in 2018. Uh, but recently, she just received a set of, a set of prosthetic eyeballs. And now she can see again. Wait, you can see with those? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. She can't oh. see. <laughs> she, just, uh, she just said she wanted to appear more normal to the outside world because without eyeballs, you look weird. You know what I mean? You know, objectively speaking. That makes me super um, sad for her. And also kids, don't do drugs. That's what I was going to say. You know, yep. don't do drugs because you'll no. lose your eyes and you'll go mm -hmm. blind. Mm -hmm. You know how people used to tell you, don't stare at the sun, you'll go blind? Don't do drugs. You'll go blind. You'll gouge your own eyeballs out and go blind. Our next news story. Is this real or fake news? Okay. This week... Egypt was forced to tell Elon Musk that its pyramids were not, in fact, built by aliens. Real or fake news? I hate Elon so much. Not so much. <laughs> he just sounds like the worst partner ever. <laughs> um, He's probably not a great partner, to be honest. I think that this is fake news. Oh, it's real. It's so it's real. A, I, <laughs> it's I wanted real. to say real, but I was like, the last one was real. They uh, really Egypt had to tell him. They had to tell him. Egypt uh, just invited Elon Musk to visit their country and see for himself that its famous pyramids were not built by aliens. 
uh, the SpaceX boss has tweeted a couple of times uh, some things that are in support of an idea, conspiracy, that it's possible aliens built pyramids. You know, this is a conspiracy that's honestly kind of popular because we yeah. really don't know how the Egyptians built the pyramids. Sure. But the Egyptians are saying, do not doubt our people, fam. Come on over. And if you look at the tombs and the way that those are, that will be proof that these were indeed built by ancient Egyptians. Wow. I don't know. I'm not really convinced of either of those answers, to be honest. I just want Elon to like calm down. That's all. <laughs> That's my mood. All right. Our next news story. Citizens of the United Kingdom took to the streets last week to protest an issued mandatory policy which requires citizens to wear a face mask. The protesters resisted, calling them mind control devices. Real or fake news? Essentially, the story is that citizens were mandated to wear masks and they resisted saying that they're mind controlling that's correct dude i think this is real news it's so real <laughs> so it's, it's so, so real. exhaustingly real in this country right now uh-huh i love you all who are listening but i swear if you think that your mask is controlling your mind mind control bro i mind understand right like you're Come just on. putting like fabric on your face like and there if it is. it is controlling your mind somehow like someone's going to be a billionaire. You know what I mean? Totally. If it's controlling your mind. Yeah, let me invest in that let's company. Let's just go. Right? Like, let's just wrap this thing up, and, you know? <laughs> oh, geez. All right. So you got two right and one wrong. You got to get, so, oh, I'm so sorry. First to three. You gotta I was going to say, right I figured it was first wrong. to three. Okay. This could be it. All right. Perfect. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Making my own sound effects over here. <laughs> All right. A woman was arrested as 140 cats were removed from her home, which was labeled as an inhumane animal sanctuary. Real or fake news? Shoot, 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 shoot. I want to say that there's a chance that it's fake because of the number of cats, and that would be the thing that makes it fake. So I'm going to go with fake. It's real. No, 140. 140 cats. So a woman who moved from her Oakland County home, she moved into her father's house in central Michigan, and she brought her cats with her. Lots of cats. More than 140 cats were removed earlier last week from her home in Park Township. And now they say that house is completely unfit for humans because of no the stench. No kidding. Yeah. Oh my God. People can't even also, live there anymore. Also, you're just moving into your parents' house like, BRB, I got to bring 150, <laughs> yeah. 40 cats in here. Um, what kind of car do you drive? Certainly a, certainly a moving van at all times. You have to. You have to. You can't I tell me you're going to fit 40 cats in a Toyota Prius. I'm sorry. No, no, it's no. It's impossible. Probably no more than... 12 in a tweet. <laughs> I mean, it's my thought. I, how do you remember 140 cats' names? You First don't. of all, come on. You're dude. just like that one. Yeah. At this point, you don't even love cats. You're just. I honestly think you hate them idiot. if you have 140. <laughs> like, yeah, you're torturing cats. Yeah. Dude. Bye. Honestly, okay, so this I love is the cats. last one. I don't think oh. you need more than like three, to be honest. I would agree with you. All right. So you got two right, you got two wrong. You need one more to break the tie here. Can't breathe. Here we go. I'm ready. A man fires an AK-47 at police officers after refusing to wear his face mask. Real or fake news? God, again, John. Again, people are insane. People are insane. And I'm people worried. I'm worried that this is real. But what if it's a different kind of gun? I will tell you, I didn't take a story and switch one detail today. Oh, shoot. I felt like that was a little bit cheating, you know? Okay. Because if it happened, it happened. And like a small detail, it still happened. You know what I mean? It's so still, it's either completely real or completely made up. I think it's fake only because there's been so many real stories today. It's, it's real. I'm real. sorry. It's real. You, you duped me. All of them were real? <laughs> All of them are real. You Except duped the one me. fake one you got right. Which was the fake one? Oh, uh, which one was the fake one? Oh, my God. No, they're all real. No, yeah, they no, were all, all real. Them were real. Yeah. I, I, I did one fake one just to be safe, um, but there were just too many good real stories. I had people to are insane. Yeah. So a dude I'm was in a cigar concerned. shop, and uh, the cigar shop owner told the dude to wear a mask, and he refused. So instead, he grabbed two cigars, he stormed outside, and pulled a handgun and shot at the clerk. When the police showed up at his house, he came out of his house with an AK-47 and started firing at police officers. Mind control, dude. This is... Um... That sums up everything I hate about America. I mean, <laughs> and that's the bold statement for today. <laughs> the UK too, dude. The UK is the one that thinks it's mind control devices. Oh gosh, you know, there are crazy people all over the world. Let me we tell can, you, we can. There are, and we we can do better, and we, we will. As as a, as a race, as a human race, we can all do better. We can stop believing that the pyramids were built by aliens, and we can do better. They might be though. I'm I know convinced. you feel that way, but <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> What sound did I just make? I don't know. 
<laughs> oh god all right well oh wait some housekeeping what? issues real oh. quick before we go some housekeeping issues hey if you're still tuning in how long yeah. has it been it's hey been thanks for being time. with us it's been a long time it's like 50 almost an hour yeah if you're still with us thanks for tuning in dude but we have some housekeeping issues that i just want to not issues some housekeeping updates that i just wanted to share with you I'm guys completely unaware of these um a we made a youtube channel now dude oh yeah what's so, it called like we were uh, it's just called at almost on air you know youtube.com <laughs> slash know <laughs> almost on air you know i don't know why we would call our channel anything else but Seems if like erica, it'd be strange you have a better name you let yeah. me know erica yep yep uh, so we have a YouTube channel because we do record the video from our podcast through Zoom and we just decided let's just post them. You know, yeah. it costs, it's literally barely any work to us. I personally love watching podcasts sometimes. So yeah. if you want to see our stupid faces and the stupid expressions that we make, feel free to go on and YouTube. And like us drinking coffee and like not paying attention to each other sometimes. It's great. Literally all the time. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, check us out on YouTube. You can watch our episodes. And finally, uh, you know, we just thought that, hey, we, we came around. Uh, we, we established this podcast because we work in the music industry and we're both big lovers sure. of music. And when we were asking for advice on what we liked from our listeners, a lot of you guys said, hey, keep letting us know the music that you're into or mm -hmm. the shows you're watching and show us what you're into. So we thought, hey, um, one thing that we do every week is listen to the music, new Music Friday playlist. So we're going to pick our top tunes that we like that have come out recently this week. We're going to add them into a playlist and we're going to post them on our Instagram page. So we made a link tree in our Instagram, the links in our bio. You cool. can click that. There's links to listen to all of our podcasts. And then we're also going to have a link to a Spotify playlist where you will have your almost new music Friday. I was going to say, and it's going to be called almost new music Friday. How cute is that? Dave? Even though it's totally new music Friday, we just got to keep it branded. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like trying to come up with a better name and i was like eh, it's, it's just, just gonna be almost it's just you know? not all the new music it's just like some Ooh, of it that's why yeah that's why almost so if you like any songs from that playlist make sure to save them because we'll update it every week with yes. all the new music that so comes out it'll change every week and hey maybe you're not interested but maybe you are you know and i always appreciate a new opportunity to find new music so if you're like me check us out i'm so excited about all these new adventures for us i know dude we are building and growing we are. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Go check us out on our Instagram. There's so much new stuff these last couple of weeks uh, at Almost On Air. And we'll see you next time. Whoop, whoop. Bye.